good morning students this is value education period okay today we are going to see lesson 11 ahimsa lesson 11 ahimsa okay close your eyes and imagine everyone close your eyes okay just think you are in a class okay you are in a class and a boy one boy push you back you are in a class and one boy is pushes you at back what will happen what will happen ma you will fall down right you will fall down and hurt yourself right if you fall down definitely you will hurt so do you feel like pushing him back do you think do you think you want pushing him back maybe if you push him back you are no better than he is right he is doing wrong thing even you also doing the same what was the difference between you and him? can you understand children so if one boy pushes you at back even if you repeat them him back then the same mistake you also will do right just think you push him back again okay maybe he will push you again then what will happen he will push you again right if you push him back then again he will start push you again so what will happen it will go on and on so in the end what will happen you will both hurt hurt so both get hurt right so just think just think instead of pushing him instead of pushing him you can stand up to him you can firmly tell him to stop don't push me like that you just tell like that okay you can firmly tell him to stop don't do like that so you can try talking to him okay just try talking to him don't do like that like a way if he never understand or if he never hear what you said then you just walk away from the place so that is the better way right so if you pushing him back definitely it leads to a big fight and they both will get hurt so instead of pushing him you can stand up to him and you finally tell don't do like that right you can tell like that and try to talk with him if he is not hear you or if he is not listen you then just move away from there okay instead of fighting back we can look for other peaceful ways to deal with such situations okay there is no need to fight back right we just think about any other peaceful ways to solve this problem most of the time you, you, you should think like a way only just try what are the peaceful ways to solve this such situations okay by doing this we can live a life of non violence or ahimsa okay if you doing like this we live the life of non violence or it is named as a ahimsa do you know what ahimsa means do you know what ahimsa means ahimsa ahimsa himsa means violence okay himsa means violence ahimsa means non violence ahimsa means non violence it is a sanskrit word okay so ahimsa means non violence okay ahimsa means non violence okay an ahimsa child chooses to be peaceful ahimsa calls for great strength it is not a sign of weakness okay listen ahimsa is a great strength don't think if you push him back it's not mean you are non courageable person it's not mean like that it's not a sign of weakness it is shows your patience okay now we are going to see a small story based upon this ahimsa so standing up for ourselves standing up for ourselves okay in a forest lived a cobra 
in a forest lived a cobra cobra means it's a kind of poisonous snake okay it's a snake it is a kind of poisonous snake the cobra feels very lonely okay the cobra was feel very lonely so what will do is whenever it heard children playing it would rush forward to play with them okay in a forest one cobra lived there it feels very lonely okay so whenever it heard children playing it would rush forward to play with them but if you will just think about it if you see one snake in front of you what will you feel what will you feel definitely you get afraid right because it's a snake it is so poisonous right so you definitely you will get afraid the same way but the children were afraid of the cobra the children were afraid of the cobra they started to shout like that snake snake kill the snake they started to shout like that okay and at the same time they started to throw stones at it okay so but the children were afraid of the co- cobra and they started to shout like that snake snake kill the snake like that they started to shout and same time they started to throw stones at it okay so the cobra went back sadly to the forest the cobra went back sadly to the forest one day one of the children stones hit the cobra on day one of the children stone hit the cobra so it tried to bite the child so the cobra tried to bite the child so the children threw more stone at the poor cobra so they are getting fear so they started to throw more stones at the poor cobra so what will happen it it gets bleeding okay it crawled away with bleeding okay a few days later a monk came by a few days later a monk came by monk means uh, he has dedicated his life to religion okay they won't marry they give their life to god okay the monk means he has dedicated his life to the particular religion they are what they following okay they won't marry they just give their life to god okay they should be very wise okay a few days later a monk came by okay that time the children around the forest they said don't go inside the forest there is a snake there it will bite you the children told to the monk what it is don't go inside the forest there is a snake there it will bite you the children told to monk the monk found an angry snake in the forest later the monk found an angry snake in the forest okay that time the monk want to ask to snake why did you try to bite the children the monk asked to snake cobra why did you try to bite the children that time the cobra replied because they threw stones at me and hurt me the cobra said because they threw stones at me and hurt me then the monk thinks about it and he tell don't chase them or bite them okay he tell like that the monk tell like that don't chase them or bite them then they won't be frightened of you they won't throw stones at you right the monk said don't chase the children because they getting very afraid of you so the so that only they are putting they are throwing stones at you okay so 
so he said don't, don't chase them or bite them then they won't be frightened of you they won't throw stones at you then the cobra thought about what the monks said okay the next day onwards when the cobra saw the children it did not chase okay it did not chase the children it lay there quietly but even though the children saw the snake they started to fright they are they were frightened because they feel the snake will bite us so even it is very quiet they started the children was very afraid so again they started to throw stones at it here the snake did not chase them or bite them right here the snake did not chase them or bite them but even though what they did they threw stones at the at the snake right so it took all the beatings quietly and crawled home and hurt and bleeding okay it took all the beatings quietly it is it did not bite them repeat it took all the beatings quietly and crawled home hurt and bleeding a few days later the monk visited the forest again and saw the injured snake okay a few days later the monk visited the forest again and saw the injured snake the monk asked to the snake what happened to you the monk asked to the snake what happened to you the snake replied to the monk i did what you asked me to do i did not bite the children i just lay there quietly but the children still threw stones at me the snake replied like that i won't do anything i never chase them and i never bite them even though they are throw stones at me what i have to do i'm still there quiet but even though they are doing like that so that a way the snake replied to the monk that time the monk replied to the snake you silly snake you silly snake i didn't tell you to lie there quietly i didn't tell you to lie there quietly or to take all the beatings i told you not to bite but you could have hissed loudly right the snake can hiss like shh, like the sound it can give right but you could have hissed loudly that would have frightened the children right you no need to the monk said like that you no need to bite the children or you you no need to chase them but you can hiss them loudly in front of them you have to hiss then the children will frighten right so from that day when the snake saw the children it hissed loudly from that day when the snake saw the children it hissed loudly the children would run away they stopped throwing stones at the snake okay they stopped throwing stones at the snake from now onwards the snake live in peace from that what we understand the snake don't bite or chase the children okay right it just hissed only okay so that only enough to make the children to afraid can you understand children so this is also one kind of non violence this is also one kind of non violence let's understand if we fight every time someone hurts us if we fight every time someone hurts us right our life will become a battle field if you fight with someone what will happen our life become a battle field so instead of fighting what can we do instead of fighting what can we do ma sometimes we can talk nicely to the other person right sometimes we can talk nicely to other person at the another one thing we can ask somebody else to help us right we can ask somebody to help us in sorting out the problem we can just move away from the person or or if you can't solve the problem just move away from that situation 
okay we can try to solve the problem peacefully what are the ways of having to solve the problem peacefully so that also you should try okay if you just try to talk otherwise you just help you just ask help to someone that is also not work out then you just move away from the place okay so some people think that if you don't hit back you are being covered the covered means a person uh, may don't have courage okay that is the meaning of covered a person may don't have courage or uh, he may afraid in such situations okay the afraid person it's known as a covered yes. so some people think that if you don't hit back you are being a covered so this is not so right so if you not hit back means you want to solve the problem in a right way okay that is the correct reason in fact not hitting back needs a lot of courage and will power right not hitting back means you are just thinking about the thing so so it needs a lots of courage and will power to not hitting back so it's not meaning he is covered and all okay so people who live this way are brave and strong only okay so look at the snake it learned not to bite but to stand up for itself by hissing loudly okay look at the snake it learned right it's learned not to bite or not to chase but it learned hissing in front of the children very loudly okay so when we learn not to hit back we can live the ahimsa way so from that we understand when we learn not to hit back we can live the ahimsa way okay children from the lesson what we understand ahimsa calls for great strength right it is not a sign of weakness and all we can try to solve the problems peacefully when we learn not to hit back we can live the ahimsa way okay ahimsa calls for great strength it is not a sign of weakness we can try to solve the problem peacefully okay when we learn not to hit back we can live the ahimsa way thank you students